Come on, don't finish up with a little song. Oh, Remember all? Oh, oh. Yeah. One, two. Ease up, Mother Brown. Ease up, Mother Brown. Come along, dearie, that's enough. Even you should be out of puff. It's your blooming birthday. The truck that's sailor down. Here, yeah, speaking of sailors. Yeah, speaking of sailors. When did Popeye go to sea? I've got no idea. When he saw olive oil dressing. Oh, ease up, ease up. Don't put your knees up, ease up, Mother Brown. Shave the haircut, shampoo. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear. <laughs> Uh, this is in danger of becoming a very dry argument. Uh, <laughs> Whip me up and get a couple more bottles, will you? There's uh, some in the fridge, Dad. Oh, in the fridge, is there? Uh, uh, still, we don't want to be drinking all your grog, do we, Oz? Bob, I'll have to be getting back to work at the pub. Has he said how long he's staying? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who said let's crack another bottle? <laughs> Has he said where he's staying? Well, of course, I'd put him up at my place, but I've only got the one room, you see, fortunately. Hey, what was some of the other stuff we used to do, Was This is opening the lad's eyes. Uh, Fred, look, uh, I'll have to be getting back to the pub. No need, he's got a ton of grog out there. <laughs> now, I'm mean into work. To work? <laughs> oh, yes, well, well, nice to see you again, Oz. Flesh is thicker than blood. And... <laughs> Thanks for picking us up. Not the first time you've needed picking up. See you later then, Bob. Good on, Uncle Oz. Yeah, can I? Poor Al Oz. Terrible jealous of me, you know. I think that's been his downfall. <laughs> well, it's a nice roomy place you've got here, son. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice little one-bedroom place, Dad. <laughs> yes. Now, uh, about the uh, last seven years, I uh, suppose you've been uh, wondering what was what. <laughs> well, I... Uh, did go through that phase, Dad, you know, checking the letterbox every 18 months or so. <laughs> Soon got sick of it, though. Yeah. Well, are you being sarcastic? <laughs> you betcha. So that's the way it's going to be. Why don't you even give a man a chance to explain? All right, explain. Now, don't order me around, boy. It's <laughs> obvious I'm not wanted here, so I'll just be on me way. I'll, uh... Just finish the beer and be on me way. <laughs> Look, Dad, you can't expect to breeze back here after 45 years or something as if you've just been away for the weekend. <laughs> so this is the thanks I get. You know, all the way over on the bus, I was thinking, only another five hours and I'll see the lad. Only another two hours and I'll see the lad. What are you making me, I wonder? After all this time, will he look down on the man at all? Were you really thinking that, Dad? Of course I was, with tears in my eyes. They were dropping all over my Australasian post. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. It's all right, it was only an old one. <laughs> you ain't old. Just get out of your road. I'm not wanted here. Well, don't be so touchy, Dad. I'm or... a man without a country. <laughs> when I think of the hopes I had. Dreams. Oh, <laughs> No fool like an old fool. Well, we can talk about things. Actions are louder than words. <laughs> I'll get a cab. Perhaps I'll put a ring for one. I wonder if I use your phone at all, if I won't be in the way. You help yourself? But where are you going to go, Jack? God only knows. It's an old dog for a hard road. What's a cab, ma'am? Where are you going to sleep? Sleep? Oh, on a bench, in the back of a truck. It's a matter I'm used to roughing it. Is that right? <laughs> Would you, uh, would you like to stay here? Here? Oh, no. No, 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 I couldn't. Please yourself. Oh, well, perhaps I could, uh, uh, just for the night, eh? Yeah. Yes, just for a night or two, I suppose I could at that. I suppose a man would be in the way for a few nights, would he? Mind you, it is a one-bedroom place, Now, look, Dad. don't worry about the thing, son. I'll be right as rain on this. Have you got a case? I've just got a little one out here. What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> well, listen, I, uh, better whip down to the shop and get a pie or something, shall I? A pie? Yeah, well, you don't get a feed on the bus, you see. <laughs> Want you to go to all this trouble? Uh, is there any more toast at all? You don't get a feed on the buses, you see. How long was the trip? <laughs> Two weeks. You know, first thing in the morning, I'm going to be on that phone, some of me old contacts. See what's offering. Mind you, the market's changed a lot in seven years, Dad. Styles and everything. Never mind about styles and everything. Tell you one thing that doesn't change, boy, and that's talent. 
You might like it that Freddie Farrell's back in town. <laughs> Old new act, a new look altogether. Terrific, Dad. Well, uh, what kind of beats? So I suppose I... you're wondering what new act, eh? Well, not really, Dad. I'm pretty tired. I... Look, I'll just crack another bottle. I think I'm getting me second wind. I was afraid of that. Look, Dad, it is late. Here, son, you pour us both a beer and I'll just get me ukulele out. Ukulele? I'll take your word for it. Oh, now what? Tell him to ring back. I'm just going into my act. Hello. You, Freddie Farrell. Oh, hi, Uncle Oss. Dad, will he... Have a listen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to tell you about my brother. He's a bar steward, and what a bar steward he is. You've got no idea. Nineteen stony ways. Talk about big brother. I've written a song about him. It's called, He is Heavy, He's My Brother. Another very good friend of mine is a fella called Bill Bailey. I haven't seen him for a long time, but I've written a song about him, too. Goes something like this. Oh, won't you come home, Bill Bailey? Won't you come home? Did answer your question, I'm Uncle Oss? That's the new Freddie Farrell. I'll do the good and belly. I'll pay the rent. I know I've done you wrong. <laughs> Remember that rainy evening? I know. <laughs> Remember that rainy evening? I kicked you out with nothing but a fine to comb. I know that I'm to blame. Ain't that a shame? Bill Bailey, won't you please come home? One more time! Won't you come home, Bill Bailey? Won't you come home? I cried a whole night long. I'll do the cooking, Bailey. I'll pay the rent. I know I've done you wrong. Remember that rainy evening? I kicked you out with nothing but a fire to call. I know that I'm to blame. Ain't that a shame? Bill Bailey, won't you please come home? Your papa needs ya. Bill Bailey, won't you please come? Shave and a haircut, shampoo. You show a bit of promise. <laughs> lunatic Sheila out of my bedroom. I never saw her before. Oh, I don't know. If I saw you outside that record store, and you were looking at me, I knew you were, and I followed you everywhere, and I've been trying to find out how she's got in here. Well, you get her out, get her out. Hold oh, there. Now, listen, you. I'll give you anything you want. Do you want my life? My body? That's lovely. Oh, anything. <laughs> Strike a light. The place is like a lunatic asylum. <laughs> Dad, don't. The flame and fire. We're looking for Mr. Farrell. I'm Mr. Farrell. He's older than I'd expected. Bobby, don't leave me! Uh, Mr. Devon, I forgot. Bobby, Bobby! Will you shut up for crying out loud? Uh, Mr. Devon, you see, uh, this is my father. How do you do? Bobby, my body is aching for you. <laughs> uh, there have been a few unforeseen. Look, we can't talk here. Are they coming in for a beer? <laughs> Anyway, I'm sorry. Well, what else can I say? How's Miss Farquhar? Heavily sedated. <laughs> well, I uh, suppose I'd better find myself another manager. Nothing would give me greater pleasure. But there is a problem. What? The latest top 40 chart released today, your record has shot up to number one. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> So, for the time being, it looks as though we're stuck with one another. But you get rid of that... that father! Oh, sure, he'll only be staying for another night. Good. Or two. <laughs> Won't you come home, Bill Bailey? Won't you come home? I cried the whole night long. I'll do the cooking, Bailey. I'll pay the rent. I know I've done you wrong. I remember that rainy evening that I kicked you out With nothing but a fine tooth comb I know that I'm to blame Ain't that 
a shame Bill Bailey, won't you please come home I remember that rainy evening The bear kicked you out With nothing but a fire to comb 